as the war in West Asia drags on. Other parts of the world are also dealing with the ripple effects of the ongoing war. U.S. colleges have also become a battleground as students across the country hold pro-Palestine demonstrations at different universities. Over 130 people have been arrested overnight during demonstrations at the New York University campus. Authorities in top American colleges are struggling to contain the demonstrations. Pro-Palestine demonstrations are taking place at Yale, Columbia, NYU, MIT and other university campuses across the nation. I'm from Jews for Justice in Palestine and I just want to in hospitals with... We're here first and foremost for a free and liberated Palestine and we're also here to speak up about uh, demilitarization of our campus and campuses across the country. The demonstrations at American universities, which has been ongoing for months, flared up now after more than 100 pro-Palestinian demonstrators were arrested last week on the Columbia University campus in Manhattan. We are here today as Jewish Columbia and Barnard students who were arrested and suspended for peacefully protesting in support of Palestinian freedom on Thursday, April 18th. Hundreds of us have been holding a peaceful protest on the lawn since April 17th. As students at Columbia, we have three demands. Divest all finances, including the endowment from corporations that profit from Israeli apartheid, genocide, and occupation in Palestine. Two, provide financial transparency of all investments. And three, ensure amnesty for all students and faculty arrested, disciplined, or fired in connection with the movement for Palestinian liberation. According to the police at New York University, some 133 demonstrators were taken into custody after they refused orders to disperse. Although, according to reports, all of them were later released with summons to appear in court on disorderly conduct charges. Meanwhile, <laughs> Meanwhile, police have also arrested 60 demonstrators in Connecticut including 47 students at Yale University after they refused to leave the, leave the area. On the other hand, classes have gone in a completely hybrid mode in Columbia University until the end of the semester, keeping students' safety in view. In-person classes have been cancelled in other colleges as well. U.S. President Joe Biden, while reacting to the latest demonstrations, said he condemns the anti-Semitic demonstrations while he also condemned those who don't understand what's going on with the Palestinians.